Hey, everybody. I'm trying to get rid of something in here. I just have to roll with it. Okay. We're live. You want to do that? Yeah, that's cool. Let's go. Let's go. So, so we'd like to welcome you all to our, uh, you know, this this is a big deal. It's a great opportunity for for I and my, uh, my lovely wife. Uh, we want to welcome you guys to our marriage goals. And um, it's been a long time coming. We've been together for somewhat about 32 years. And um, hopefully we can add some value. Um, one of the things uh, I want you guys to understand is that we're doing this to actually uh, set some goals and say that you can set goals any, any place you're at in marriage. Um, whether you're starting off, um, getting back together, whatever whatever is going on, we want to um, share some goals that we set with each other. And... Um, how to keep it moving and how to keep things moving good. All right, what he said. <laughs> so yes, welcome everyone to our first edition of Marriage Goals with Coach B and Sheree. And yes, we bring 32 years of marriage experience, three adult children, um, been through almost everything a marriage can go through, you name it, we most likely have been through it. Um, Thank God we don't look like we've been through. Have you heard that? Um, so in this episode, we want to talk about the power of five A's. And the A's are acknowledgement, admire, affirm, appreciate, and my favorite, and Brian's favorite, is apologize. What do you say? <laughs> Apologize. We can't. We don't, we don't get there. That's why that one's last. And how these seem simple, but they could really um, impact your marriage. Because if something's big to somebody, it may. That's a whole other topic. It might be big to your spouse and small to you. But um, if we can incorporate these five simple things into our marriage on a daily basis, weekly monthly, yearly basis, I think it would um, take it to the next level. So, so like create a habit, right? Right. Yeah. So what had happened was I was writing some notes. And so my husband, he wants to have a, a um, seamless conversation. So he's going to add it off the notes. So I'm not really 100% sure what he's going to say. I know what I would say. All right, so explain explain what we mean by acknowledge, admire, affirm. Well, um, I'll tell you, it took, it took a little uh, time for me to kind of start to understand. Um, I mean, of course, we know what acknowledge means, but, you know, there's times when you, get in, you can get into marriage and sometimes you can get kind of comfortable. And then, you know, your habits, you get... You know, you get used to kind of just like the run of the mill and you kind of can forget, you know, what brought you guys together for the first time and um, what kind of sparked the fire, right? And so day to day, run of the mill, you might start forgetting to, hey, you know, acknowledge, you know, you might you might be on the phone, your, your, your spouse may come in and you may be like, oh, hey, you know, or hello or something to that effect. So for me, what it means to acknowledge, um, it means that I am, I, it means that I, I see you, see she hasn't helped me out. Okay, wait, let me, let me, let me do the five. Acknowledge, admire, affirm, appreciate, apologize. So acknowledge, I see you. Admire, I like what I see. Affirm, I see who you are and who you're becoming. Appreciate, I see you and I say thank you. 
and apologize. I see you and how I've hurt you. So now, acknowledging, <laughs> acknowledging your spouse involves recognizing and validating their presence. This goes beyond just seeing them physically. It's about showing that you value their existence within a relationship. I see you. So go ahead. Of course, of course. So <clears throat> the way I would handle that is like I was saying, I was letting you guys know sometimes you can forget to do that with your spouse and it becomes just like a habit. So we need to really make sure that we start recognizing and what that means to, to see. So a few things I jotted down, which is actually um, is it means that I'm going to intentionally make sure that you know and understand that when you enter into the room or when you come into my space that I see you, right? I see you and I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to acknowledge that you're here, that your presence is here because your presence is valuable to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that would, that would be acknowledging and, and I had to actually, um, you know, sometimes, like I said, you have habits and your habits become bad. And it's just because you get used to doing this, the same thing over and over again. Well, I had to um, start working on a habit like that to replace that because my uh, this this is my better half. So it's important to me and it's important that she knows that. So I see you. So I was thinking about uh, when I was writing notes, too, is if you guys have dogs or if you have toddlers and then when, when either the husband or the wife comes home, the toddler is running to the door. Oh, daddy. Oh, mommy. They don't care about the day. They don't care about anything. I just want to like see you and be with you. And then you have your dogs. Your dogs don't care. They don't care about your credit. They don't care about what outfit you wore. They don't yeah, care if you stay. Dog, huh? Yeah. And then I, we were talking about, I used to not understand how people would be homeless and have a dog and don't judge me but until we got a dog i could see how if if somehow i was homeless i would that's the first thing i would have is a dog because they don't care you know they don't care if you're homeless they don't care what kind of house you got they don't care they just love you and when you come in they acknowledge you they see you they see you your toddlers and your kids your babies they see you um and they don't add anything to it so um another thing that we do as far as like acknowledge we have the um the ring camera sometimes that ring gets you in trouble <laughs> but uh you have we have the ring camera so and we have the alert on our phone so when it goes off we we don't we can't do it all the time but i would say about 90 percent of the time when someone comes up or drives up we try to greet them at the door and i know when my husband leaves in the morning we greet him we open the door, make sure he's out. We say bye. My daughter, she comes down. I don't care how sleep she is, four, five. If um, when I was going to the gym at four a.m., she'll be here wiping her eyes, acknowledging me. She will not let you walk out the door without saying, you know, bye, have a good day. And so, when we say I see you, uh, you were talking about picking up your phone early in the morning, and sometimes not even acknowledging God. You just pick up your phone and seeing what. Yeah, it gets the first touch. So. You know, we get into the, these habits and I think we, we forget and we got to be careful about that because what it's really saying, it can really say is that this here is more important than the space that I'm in right now. Right. So we have to learn to be present with with our, our surroundings. And if, if your home and your family is important to you, then you should you should show that by acknowledging that. And that that's whatever that thing may be at that particular time should be secondary. And I think that that is uh, great to acknowledge because the time that we live in nowadays, everything is moving so quick. Everything is so busy. It's a lot of noise and, you know, people are grinding and trying to get things done. But, you know, you got to circle back and say, well, what is the whole reason that I'm doing this for anyway? Right. What is this? What am I doing this for? So I'm doing it for my family, those who I love, those who I want to make an impact on. 
But the most important thing is, is I believe that they understand that and know that, like, hey, you know, you see me, you see me. So we acknowledge each other like that. Yeah. And so that's, that's, it's so simple, but, you know, if you're at the grocery store and you see there's a line and you you have $200 of food and you want to be checked out and you see the manager walking by and you see employees walking by, only one register is open. You're like, hey, do you don't see me? You know, you don't see me standing here? Am I not important? You know, what I have in my bag is not worth, you know, me spending my money here. You're not acknowledging me as a customer. And so, you know, it's kind of similar in marriage. It's like, hey, you don't see me? You didn't see me sitting here on the couch when you walked in, you know, because you're on your phone. And so setting up some simple, um, some simple routines to say, just like, in the morning, unless I'm on a, uh, a call, and sometimes I'll get off my call because I have an accountability call we both do in the morning. And if he's leaving, you know, I'll try to get off my call and go to the door. But if I'm not on a call, if there's nothing going on, we always greet each other when we're leaving and when we come in. And so does my daughter, because you don't know if that's your last time seeing that person leaving or coming. And so we, um, we, we, we greet. And so that's a, something that you can do, pretend you know, pretend like you're the doggy, pretend like you're the toddler, and greet with no extras. Hey, I'm glad to see you. That's it. Not, hey, I'm glad to see you, but this bill over here. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you, but did you stop by the store? But I'm glad to see you, you know. So the second one is admire. So I like what I see. I like what you see. I like what I see. Admiring your spouse involves complimenting their physical appearance again, and expressing your attraction to them, making your partner feel desired and appreciated. Yeah. So um, I like to say admiration for me um, is, is I just admire my wife when I see her, how she how she um, she goes she she does her job um, she takes care of the household she takes care of me and out of all those things she still continues to to do the things that are necessary uh, with her her company and her business and um, I might I admire that because she's um she really as a matter of fact, even what we're doing right now, she really loves to pour into people. And she's poured into me and she's poured into so many people. Um, she has, you know, she set, she set up her goal setting system, her goals journal. And, um, you know, these marriage goals that we're doing right now, um, they're in place because we know that bad habits will creep in to a relationship. And, if they get stuck there, then it becomes organic in a bad way. So in order for us to curb those things like that, we have to put some things in place to replace those bad habits. We have to replace them with good ones, right? So these marriage goals um, are very important. And for the admiration part, I know I went off a little bit, but I, that's what I admire about my wife. I admire the things that she do, and I'm not going to overlook that. I'm going to make sure that she knows that because she doesn't have to. She doesn't have to do that. So, so I admire, I admire that. And, and yeah, so. Okay, and so admire, kind of specifically, complimenting appearance, complimenting, uh, and and then you want to. You want to be in a space where you can be complimented. I know one thing that's a little challenging is sometimes when I'm around the house, I'm tired. I want to relax and um, I want to relax. And sometimes I'll put my hair a certain way or do something a certain way. And then you realize you're not looking your best. And so I bought, I had my daughter buy me these little head wraps. And so now I try to at least. Okay, let me put my hair wrap on, put my earrings on, let me spray myself, you know, so we don't, so I don't look, you know, so I can look like someone who, who wants to be admired. So a lot of times we see those dresses or we see those outfits in the store and we're like, oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. I like that. This is mom. You know, that could be, you know, we could keep that same energy 
when we are complimenting our spouse. Like, hey, you look good in that. Yeah, like, like I like my husband's beard. Sometimes he doesn't like the beard because I guess it's itchy or whatever. But I love the beard. So whenever he has the beard, I try to compliment. And then when he um, shaves, I don't remember. So he's like, hey, could you tell I shave? So just like admiring and how I like this. I like your outfit. You know, I like your lipstick, things like that. And um, because you want to make sure other people, you know, other people will compliment. So make sure you're the first to compliment in your marriage. Yeah, you want to set that foundation at the house, right? Right. You know, so you have to, you, know, you, you just keep it at keep it at the house. Right. Number three, affirm. Affirming your spouse mean, means acknowledging not only who they are, but who they are becoming. Um, so, affirming like what he does a lot because I do my videos or I'm writing books or I'm. I'm working on a project, he'll come and say, hey, that was a good episode, or that was a good workshop, or I loved your workshop, oh, this is a bomb book, you know, or I liked, um, you know, I'm writing a book, note to self, and he's like, oh, yeah, I like that, you need to hurry up and get that out, and so it's good to have, you know, affirming who you are now, who are you becoming, um, if, if your husband or your wife is in sales, or maybe they're a beautician, or maybe they're a teacher, you know, hey, you're, you're a good teacher, your, your students are good to have you or you think about your kids how we affirm our kids and not affirm our spouses it's like when your kids are trying to ride a bike or when they're eating for the first time or they're learning how to walk you're like oh good job oh you're so cute oh you got this you can do this or you yes you can or when they're riding their bike you're cheering them on and you're holding you you know you're walking beside them and you're cheering them on and you're saying you can do it you know we can have more of that too in our marriages just saying hey Good job. You can do it. Hold on a little bit. I'm right here, you know, next to you, affirming you, affirming you for where you are, um, riding the bike, and where you're going to be once you start riding the bike. You're going to be able to do it on your own. I'm here with you. Right. So, affirming. Being conscious. Being conscious and mm -hmm. paying attention. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, I have uh, I, all of that that you just said with the affirming, but I wanted to say this, too. I want to add... Um, as far as affirming, and as we said before, when we were talking about these five A's, they, a lot of times they will interconnect, but for the sake of what we're talking about, we're trying to keep them separate, right? But so also affirm uh, to me is like, I'm, I'm seeing your growth. Like I'm seeing that, I, I know some of your struggles that you may have, right? And then I start to see you, you change and say, hey, you know, I, I, I want to correct this. And then you start working on that. And it's not always perfect because because it is a uh, it's a journey. Right. But just the attempt and the effort to try to start changing, um, you know, I know there's some, you know, raising kids. Sometimes you may have different issues with them and you say, hey, maybe I'll try it this way the next time. Normally, I won't do it like that. My old me might would have came off a certain way, right? But mm -hmm. so my affirming too is just to say, hey, I, I, I remember you would have done you would have done something like this, but now you've changed and you're doing it better. You're or you're trying to work it out. So it's just basically things that um, are difficult, but yet you're courageous enough to try to change that. And I like to affirm. You know, that's uh, affirming as well. Okay. Yeah. And four. Now we're getting through this pretty fast, huh? Yeah, well, Speaking of this on the, uh... You can talk pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying to slow down today. I'm trying to slow down and talk fast on about myself. Um, number four, appreciate. I see you and I say thank you. And sometimes, uh, you know, so share, sh um, appreciating your spouse goes beyond recognition. It's about genuinely valuing and expressing gratitude for what you see in them. And so we could get, like, sometimes my, my husband will wash my car, and even though I'm grateful and I intend to say thank you, I might forget because maybe he washed it earlier in the morning. I haven't seen it yet. He hasn't told me because maybe he wants to surprise me that I get in. And I'm like, oh, my car is clean, but I don't say thank you. So after maybe four or five times of that, 
you could be like, okay, I'm not washing her car no more. Not him. Because she never knows that I'm washing it anyway. She doesn't say thank you. So sometimes, and it might be genuinely, hey, I was going to say thank you, but I forgot. So maybe in the times when, when and if you forget, but you notice, jot it down. You know, here's a tip. You know, jot it down. Hey, don't forget. Hey, go on your watch and say, hey, don't let me forget to say, tell Brian thank you for washing my car. You know, and it seems small, but those are the, the sometimes or just things like, if you're taking out the trash and I'm like, well, you're supposed to take out the trash because that's what you do. You know, you're the man or you're supposed to make the food because that's yeah. what you do. You're the female or you're supposed to, you know, it doesn't hurt to just say thank you real quick. Hey, you know, thank you. He's, he thanks me a lot for cooking. You know, I cook. He's like, oh, thank you for cooking. And I'm like, okay, yeah, some, thank you for people, eating. Some people, some people don't get that. <laughs> you know, so he'll just, you know, say thank you for cooking. And I'll be like, okay, because in my head, I'm thinking when I'm getting home, okay, I got to cook, or I got to cook, or I got to cook. But just to hear that, you know, thank you. Um, well, and, and, and another thing is, though, is that going along that path is like, you know, I believe that we're here to serve each other. And I don't I don't think that we should be trying to keep record of this and that. It's like if we're if we're building and we're trying to grow and we're trying to get to a certain point, then who needs to be doing a little knickknack stuff like that? I mean, you know, we're like at some point it's like you're running a corporation and you need everything firing correctly so you can get to where you're trying to get to. Because if you're if you're starting to divide things up, I mean you you have to have a foundation if you're trying to build a house. You know, we need to be stepping together. And if there's some issues with that, then we need to try to figure that out and, and talk about it. But yeah, um, so All right. you're showing that appreciation that that does that speaks volumes. And I think even when you um, when you start the foundation at home, you can take that out and and you can actually be able to speak to people out in the workplace or wherever you're at and, and treat it them accordingly because i mean you know the it all starts at home it all starts in the family um because sometimes you know you can if you figure if you leave home irritated then you'll probably be irritated out of the world right so just trying to build a, a safe place right right and then last but not least i apologize um i see you and how I've hurt you. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. Express that you made, you know, express that you're sorry and that you made a mistake. Um, do people even apologize anymore? We were talking about that the other day. Do we apologize or do we just... That's a good question. Just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes we buy things in place of apologizing and you're like oh well you know i'm sorry because i did that no you should apologize i was wrong or maybe you weren't wrong maybe you said it wrong maybe you uh said it at the wrong time um and so just apologize yeah that's say i say uh that's another episode that's a whole another episode to talk about when you should discuss things and the timing to discuss those things yes so I had some. I wanted to say something else about apologizing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, apologizing. I'm good for. I'm sorry, but. You know, I, I just I'll just say that I'm sorry, but, but I've I've learned that. Um, you know, if you're sorry, um, or you want to apologize, I just like leave it there, and then discuss it later, because even if you win, even if you win, it's not really a win. As I just, as uh, as I just mentioned earlier, if you're trying to build, it's like, oh yeah, I warned you was <laughs> you was wrong. I was right. See, I told you that. I mean, that really still doesn't get you anywhere. You know. So. And when you say "but," it just erases everything you said before it. So if you're sorry, but then hmm. if you're sorry, but then maybe you should wait. I'm sorry, you should wait on that. Um. So, I was at, so I'm in concluding our five A's. Um, I wanted to, where's my notes? Our five A's, acknowledge, I see you, 
admire, I like what I see, affirm, I see who you are and who you're becoming, appreciate, I see you and I say thank you, apologize, I see you and how I hurt you. I'm going to post these up too so that you guys can have them. We're going to start putting like some of the resources and some of the notes on there. I'm going to hold on one second, you guys. We got to take care of something real quick. All right, you guys. So, you were going to say something? Oh, no. said yeah. So, putting it all together, I remember, um, well, before the pandemic, we were boss coaches at our church. And when the kids would enter the room, um, the room was always ready, by the way. Um, kids didn't walk into the room and we'd be like, okay, sit over there. We don't see you or... You know, when when it's time, we will acknowledge you. Um, no one entered the room until it was ready. And each person that entered the room was greeted at the door. We said, you know, a handshake or a hug. How are you? Um, you are loved and appreciated. Welcome them into the room. So each kid who entered was acknowledged at the door. They, they, it was expressed to them that they were loved and it was expressed to them that they were appreciated. And when they walked in, it was prepared. Right. And so it changed, I wouldn't say it changed the atmosphere of the room. We didn't, have a, we didn't have an opportunity for the atmosphere to change because we created the atmosphere that we wanted to happen. And so in marriage, if you could do the same thing, you know, keep the same vibe, like appreciating, reminding that person you're you're loving and appreciate, preparing the space um, the for conversation. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, we eat dinner and I, sometimes, you know, we're just tired. You know, we're busy. We do a lot of things. But I do try to, when I make dinner, I try to make dinner like we're at the restaurant. I'll put the candles on. I'll have you know, our nice plates and I'll have our drinks. And I mean, not, you know, not drink drinks, but um, I try to set it up to say, hey, this is my family and I want to serve you like you're being served at a restaurant because I want you to feel valued. I want you to feel appreciated. I want us to feel um, loved. So you can do small things in your marriage to keep those, to keep the energy alive right yeah. let me stick to my yeah. notes yeah. um but it's the small the little things right so yeah so we hope that you enjoy this is our first time and this is actually our first time um teaching to get we, we used to teach a daycare we used to teach in in church ministry um but never together on marriage and so this was kind of big for us we kind of wanted to um yeah, have a conversation a big deal, huh? yeah it's a it big is deal for us. It is. I'm so I'm excited. So. so I hope that we guys can. I hope we guys. <laughs> I hope that we can. Uh, and this is hard for me because I'm trying to slow down. I'm usually like this. Um, yeah, and I'm just the opposite. I'm just like. You know, so. <laughs> so we want to. to balance out the middle, right? We want to take up space in the real estate of social media. We feel like there's a lot out there. There's a lot of advice, and this is not advice. This is just. Um, Add some value. Yeah, it's, oh, it's an opportunity to add some more 
um, to add something to your marriage toolbox, yeah. you know, and hopefully there'll be good conversations. And if you have any, if you have any questions, if you have any, um, it's got, it's called marriage goals. So goals that you should set in your marriage is not marriage advice. We're not telling you what you, you should do because what your husband likes is going to be different than what my husband likes. What my husband thinks is respect might be disrespectful to somebody else. What I feel, um, I'm not all women. So I don't want to be referred to generally like all women like this and all women want this. That's not necessarily true. Um, so that's not the purpose of marriage goals is the purpose is to share some uh, resources with you to share some tools with you to share some experiences with you to give you some different options. Um, you know, again, 32 years, we've been through everything you could possibly go through. And so we feel like it's time to be able to, you know, bring something to the table um, to offer to our couples who, you know, just want to have a conversation about marriage. Yeah. And ho hopefully you'll be encouraged um, and know that, you know, there are couples that are still trying to thrive and still um, not just like throwing in the towel. You know, there's resources out there. Uh, there's people that you can talk to. And hopefully, as I said, you'd be encouraged and, and get a little inspiration to see that, you know, marriage is still alive and well. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect, but I don't think it was supposed to be perfect. I think uh, there's a lot of fantasy that comes with marriage, um, but this is supposed to be about commitment. Right. And it's supposed to be about building and um, just, you know, marriage will make you, if, if you're open to that, marriage will make you a better person because the person that's close to you will be it become like a mirror if you can take it constructively and if you can get to a place where you're talking to each other where you're trying to help each other out and not taking it away where you just feel like you're, you're you're being criticized but to help each other out and to grow as a unit that's what will help you move forward all so, right yeah. well i saw i saw some comments and i'm not able to i see that there are comments but i'm not able to comment or see them um so we have to figure out on our next episode how to either bring the comments on the screen or um, maybe I can have somebody else log in so they can see the comments. Um, but, you know, I apologize if you guys commented and I can't see you or comment back. Uh, so we'll try to figure that out in the next episode and maybe we'll kind of come on and practice comments. I know there's a way and I think there's a way you can even bring them up here so people can see them. Um, and that way, if you guys have questions or um, anything like that, we can do that. But tonight we can't because we're streaming live on a couple of different platforms. Um, and so there's some people watching YouTube, some people on Facebook, some people are live on Twitter. Um, and so I can't see the comments, so I apologize. But next time. But I will go through, and if I see any comments that need to be addressed, I can do it, you know, after. But thank you guys for joining us. This is kind of kind of big for us. We did it. We made it. We made it through. Yeah. All right. So remember the five A's. I'm going to post it up and maybe kind of create some kind of document um, that you guys can download and keep in mind as you interact with your spouse during the week that you acknowledge them, that you admire them, that you affirm mm -hmm. them, that you appreciate them, and that you remember to apologize. <laughs> apologize. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Now I'm going to figure out how to. We'll see you next time. See you Peace next out. time.